Today we're starting a new series where we explore some of the most popular Latin rice dishes. First up, arroz con pollo. Come on, let's get started. You're about to have a little taste of what you're missing. But if you cannot stand the heat, get out the kitchen. Full of flavor, flavorful, save your tools. Te vamos a enseñar una receta del baúl. Slice, dice, chop, nice spice, hot or mild. We got it, you just name the style. One in a meal, culinary skills, prestigioso. Todo queda sabroso. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of flack, especially with my Puerto Rican people, but Cuban arroz con pollo is probably my favorite version. It's one of the first dishes that I ever made when I started my culinary career. Chef Joss, I thought your name was Patrick. That's another story for another day. Let's start off our arroz con pollo with the pollo. I'm going to show you how to break down a chicken into different parts so we can use it in our dish. Actually, let's start with the vegetables for our rice dish. And the reason why is because I don't want to cut chicken on my cutting board, then cut vegetables afterwards. Why do we do that? Cut half a large onion into a medium dice. Cut a whole green pepper in the same fashion. Do the same with a quarter of a red bell pepper. Next, slice some stuffed Spanish olives in half, or you can keep them whole. Give those a quick smash to release the cloves. Man, I love garlic. Not only because it makes whatever you're cooking better, but it has a ton of health benefits as well. Now let's prep the chicken. I like to start with the legs. Cut a slit in the skin between the breast and the leg to expose the inside. Find where there is a line of fat. This will let you know that there's a joint where you can make a precise cut. Next, take the thigh and pull it back from the body of the chicken, exposing the thigh bone. Then simply cut behind the bone joint. Repeat the process for the other leg and thigh. Removing the wing can be a little bit challenging because the joint is tucked behind the bird. I like to lift the chicken up by the wing so I can easily find where the joint is. Then just cut behind that wing joint. Do the same for the other wing. To remove the breast from the back of the chicken, just cut down right in front of the ribs and pull apart the breast to expose the back. Then cut right through to separate the breast. Now don't throw away that chicken back. This will make a great chicken stock for soups, stews, or sauces. To separate the breast, find the small piece of cartilage on the back of the breast. Then using that as a guide, cut the breast in half. For this dish, I like to cut the breast into smaller pieces. I also remove the wing tips and cut the wings in half. You can season the chicken with the Latin staple seasonings, adobo and sazon. 
but I'm using our signature spice that combines these flavors plus more. If you would like to purchase this seasoning, just visit our website. The link will be in the description. Mix thoroughly to combine. Now let's make the arroz con pollo. In a large pot or Dutch oven set over medium high heat, add two tablespoons of olive oil and begin laying the chicken pieces in. Brown on both sides. Then remove from the pan. What's left behind is the fond. No, no, not the fonds, the fond. The flavor that's sitting at the bottom of the pan. Add a tablespoon more of olive oil and add the onions and peppers. Saute the vegetables while scraping the bottom of the pan to lift up that fond. This flavor will now become a part of the dish. Add the olives and garlic and saute for 30 seconds. Add some more seasoning, about a tablespoon or so, and stir to combine. Deglaze the pan with a half a cup of white wine, reduce by half, then add the rice. I'm using an extra long grain rice and I'm adding it before the liquid so that each grain is coated with the oil and the flavors. I'm adding two cups of chicken stock that is flavored with achote or anato. This is going to help give the rice its signature golden color. I'm also adding a tablespoon each of ground cumin and dried oregano, plus three bay leaves. Mix to combine. Add the chicken pieces back to the pot. along with his juices. Bring to a boil. Once enough liquid has been absorbed, you'll notice small bubbles begin to form on the top. Then add half a cup of frozen green peas. Place a lid and bake in a preheated 300 degree oven for 15 minutes. Remove from the oven and garnish with diced pimientos, and chopped parsley. Now let's taste. Mmm. Food this good makes you want to dance. Thanks for watching. If you really like this video, smash that like button and click to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all new content. And remember, food can look good, but if it doesn't taste good, then your cooking is in vain. So make it sabroso.